Hey there, Tyler Lubin from Visual Intelligence Consulting. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Tableau Viz and tooltips. Now, I honestly haven't been using this as much as I should, but these things are, are pretty powerful. Uh, this is what we're gonna be building. Uh, we're gonna be creating a, a basic Viz and tooltip, which when you hover, you can see a, a time series and uh, the, you know, the general uh, text amount of what's going on. On this one, we're gonna be putting two different charts in, in the same tooltip. Uh, on this one, we are going to uh, allow people to uh, click on one of these, uh, like so, and you'll see the, the, the information here, and then you can hit Enlarge Tooltip, and it'll jump you to a new dashboard with uh, the enlarged version of what is in that tooltip. And on this one, we're going to be uh, messing with the formatting sum and putting two uh, charts uh, next to each other. So this is what we're going to be working with, uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so there are three uh, main steps. One is creating your, your main visualization. The next one is creating your actual tool tip that's gonna go into the main visualization and then just adding it, all right? And it's, it's actually very easy um, to, to actually do it. Uh, it's just about being creative and, and kind of figuring out how, um, how you want to, to make it all interactive. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just create a, just a quick chart, um, a quick map. So we're gonna double click on country and that's gonna generate our map for us. Then we're gonna grab our cells, drop that onto colors. And we're also gonna go hold control and grab our cells pill and drop that onto labels. All right, so this is gonna be our, our main viz and we're gonna call this uh, basic viz in tooltip. All right, and you see when we hover, we just have some basic, uh, the basic country and sales uh, like we normally get. All right, so now we have our main viz, and I'm gonna go ahead and color this blue just to organize it a little bit. Now we need to create the visualization that's gonna go in the tooltip. All right, and this visualization is just gonna be a simple uh, time series line chart. So I'm gonna grab my order date, and I'm gonna hold control, select order date, and hold control, select sales, and then I'm gonna go to show me and do this line chart. All right, it's gonna generate this line chart for me, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna add a, a quick a trend line here. So I'm gonna go analytics and trend line, and I'm gonna add a linear trend line. All right, so this is gonna go in the tooltip. Now remember the tooltip space is pretty small, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these headers uh, just to save some room for the actual visualization. All right, and I'm gonna call this one tooltip viz one and I'm gonna color this one red. All right, so now we go back to our main visualization and we go to tooltip and the tooltip pops up. We then can go to insert. So first I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, come down a couple, of, uh, a couple of spaces here and go to insert. And we now have this sheet option where we have our tooltip uh, viz sheet right here. And I misspelled it, I'm gonna go ahead and change that real quick. But we put that there, and you see we have our sheet here. Now we go ahead and go to preview, and we see we have country, what country it is, sales, and the actual uh, visualization here. Now you see you have some options here. You have max width, max height, and then uh, the filter option is if you wanna change how the action filter works. Um, but basically, you're gonna just wanna change the max width and height mostly. Uh, the filter option is like kinda, is the same exact thing as uh, the filter option when you do the, the filter actions, all right? But on this one, we're gonna leave it just like this and then test it out. And while I'm over here, I'm just gonna go change this to tooltip. All right, so now when we hover, you'll see we have a time series for each of the uh, different countries that we hover over, all right, which looks nice. All right, we can go ahead and now format this a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to my tooltip and I'm gonna center this and I'm just gonna delete this. I'm gonna leave that there, make this a little bit larger and preview it. And you could just kind of make this how you want. All right, color it, uh, change it to the font, whatever you want. Um, but you can make your tooltip all nice and, and pretty just like that, all right? So here goes the, the, the basic functions is, is we create our main chart, uh, we create the tooltip, and then we go ahead and add it, all right? Let's go ahead and do some more examples. All right, so I'm gonna go and add a new sheet. 
And we're going to create um, another map just like we did before, but we're going to call this uh, two charts stacked on top of each other. All right, and we're going to create that same uh, map that we had looking at country, looking at sales into color, and sales into labels. All right, so we got that same map. Now let's go ahead and create the tool to visualizations that's going to go in our tooltip. So we're going to create a new sheet and we're going to create a, a highlight table. So let's grab category and let's put that in rows. Let's grab our order date, put that in the columns. Let's grab our sales, drop that on the ABCs. And we're going to go to show me and select this highlight table. All right, so we're just going to create a basic highlight table. And this is going to be viz in tooltip 2, 1. All right, this is the first one. We're going to do another one. All right, so we grabbed our first one. And we'll go ahead and start coloring these if we like. And you don't have to do this, but this just kind of helps me uh, stay organized with things. All right, and we're going to name this one viz in tooltip 2, 2. All right, so on this one, we're gonna create an area chart. So I'm gonna grab my order date, put that in columns, and I'm gonna grab my sales, drop that on the ABCs, and then do show me area chart. Then I'm gonna segment this by category. So I'm gonna grab category, drop that on the colors. I'm gonna change the colors of this real quick. I don't like the Tableau automatic color palette. Uh, so I'm just gonna go with this blue and teal. And I'm gonna add a border real quick. All right, I'm also going to uh, remove the headers on this one as well, but I'm just gonna do the uh, the the sum headers over here, the sum of sales over here. All right, so now we have our two visualizations. We now go to our main one, and we're gonna go open up the tooltip for it. We can go ahead and kind of do the same thing here, where we're cleaning up the the actual text right here, make this a little larger. Then I'm gonna add a space and I'm gonna go to insert and sheets and viz and tooltip two one and then viz and tooltip two two. Now you see when I do that, you have preview. Uh, you'll see I have both of these fitting right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit okay and let's just take a look at how it looks. All right, and you'll see uh, my time, not my my text table is not fitting all the way. You see how uh, the the numbers are cut off in 2018. So I'm going to go back to this one and change the fit to entire view, and this one as well. And then I'm going to come back, and you see it's fitting the entire view now. Now it doesn't look that good because uh, it's fitting height as well. So I'm going to go back and do fit width, and then take a look at it. All right, now that looks good. So now we have two stacked right on top of each other and it's filtering based off of the country I'm highlighting on. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. And we're gonna do that, uh, the formatting, some formatting things and then that drill down effect that I showed you where we enlarge the, uh, the actual tooltip image or tooltip visualization. So let's do a new sheet and we're gonna call this uh, formatting and drill down with enlarged action. All right, this we're gonna create the same thing, that country map, looking at cells. All right, go ahead and color this one blue. All right, so in this new sheet, we're gonna be creating a border. Uh, that's gonna be just put in that tooltip to kind of separate the text and the actual visualization. Now this one is pretty easy. We're gonna, it's actually just gonna be a blank worksheet. Uh, and then we're gonna go right click and format. And we're gonna go to the borders and we're gonna remove the column uh, dividers. And we're gonna just change this to a color that we want. All right, so it's really just gonna show this line going across as a border. All right, and we're gonna just call this border. All right, so this is gonna be just a border that we're gonna put in our visualization. All right, now let's create the actual visualization that's gonna go in uh, our tooltip. And we're gonna call this tooltip uh, viz3 underscore one. 
All right, and we're gonna make this one red also. And this one is going to be a map also, but it's gonna be by state. So when they cover over the country, it's gonna show another map that's gonna be by state. So we're gonna double click on state and we're gonna put sales into color and sales in the label as well. Now it's gonna be really crowded right now, but remember when we hover over a, a country, it's just gonna show that state or that the states within that country. So it's gonna be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the viz and let's go ahead and add it to the visualization. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna add that border one right under this text and you kind of play with it how you want, but I'm gonna add that border and preview it. And you see we have a border at the top and bottom because this is uh, our height of our viz. Let's go ahead and change our max height to a nine, which is the, the minimum that they allow. Hit preview and you see we get this nice uh, little short border right here, okay? So that we have the border, we go ahead and center this, you know, play with this some if we want. Let's go ahead and uh, enter a couple of spaces and let's put our uh, new visualization that we just made. Uh, let's see, tooltip viz 3.1. Go ahead and preview. All right, and you'll see when we hover over a country, it's just gonna show that state. So we got that nice border in there, and then we have the states within each of the country. Now, another thing that I did was uh, being able to enlarge this, this actual visualization uh, so that you can see a big version of it. All right, so actually I used a, a menu action to do that and you clicked on the menu action and it just jumped you to a new dashboard uh, with that visualization. And we're gonna go ahead and do that later um, at the end once we put this in a dashboard, all right? But we're gonna do that at the, at the very end, so don't worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and finish the, the other two real quick. All right, so let's do a, a new sheet. We're gonna call this charts side by side with sentence formatting. Charts side by side with sentence formatting. All right, and I probably misspelled stuff. I'm sure you see me misspell stuff all the time, but that's why I went into analytics, right? All right, so in this one, we're gonna do the same thing, country, and we're gonna do sales in the color and into uh, labels. Go ahead and color this one blue. Open up a new one. And in this new one, we're gonna call it viz tooltip four underscore one. Go ahead and make that red. And we're gonna make a simple bar chart looking at subcategory and sales. And put that uh, as a bar chart and show me. And go ahead and pretty it up a little bit and change the color. Um, or even put sales in the color add a border all right and i'm not going to do uh any any labels here make the bars a little thicker like this all right so we got this one i'm going to hide this uh this label right here and we're good let's go ahead and i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm gonna call this one uh four two and on this one, we're gonna do a quantity instead. So I'm gonna put quantity on top of sales to replace it. Same thing here. And I'm gonna change the color of this. So it's a different color. So I'm gonna do this green. All right, there we go. Now we got one for quantity. All right, so we got both of them. And now we're going back to our main viz and we're gonna put these right next to each other. All right, so let's go to tooltip. And first thing we're gonna do is uh, make this into a sentence format. So this is kind of cool because it, uh, it it's just like a dynamic sentence. So we're gonna do, we're gonna hard code some words and then put some, uh, some actual insert some fields in here. So we're gonna do the sales in, and we're gonna do a space and add country, R, and then we're gonna add uh, sales right here. And the quantity is, and then we're gonna add quantity which not in here right now. So let's go ahead and grab quantity and drag that into the tooltip. And then it'll show up in the insert here. There we go. And then pair it. Let's go ahead and take a look. The sales in Australia are 8,000 and the quantity is, okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and highlight this and increase it some. And then let's go ahead and highlight each of these uh, fields and let's make it a different color 
just so it stands out a little bit. So we people know that these are dynamically changing. And you can pick whatever color you want. All right, go ahead and hit OK. Let's take a look. We got this nice sentence format. All right, perfect. We'll go back to our tooltips. Uh, add some space. Let's go ahead and put that border back in here. So let's go to Sheets and add that border sheet. And let's go ahead and preview that. Looks like uh, we need to change that line uh, height again. So let's make this a nine. All right, that looks good. And it looks a little weird there. So you see how um, how the line is kind of short. Uh, it looks like it needs to be about double the size right now. So let's go ahead and uh, double this size to 600. All right, there we go, that looks good. So now we have that border. Now we want to put two sheets next to each other. So let's go to sheet and put the 4-1. And then on this one, we're going to, instead of going to the next line, we're going to go right next to it. All right, so no next line and go to sheets and do 4-2. All right, so you we're going to go ahead and hit OK and go back to each of these and do fit with. And then check it out. And there we go. Now it's fitting really nice right here. Okay. So now we have two charts right next to each other with that border and this sentence formatting. Now let's go ahead and put all these together in a dashboard real quick. All right, so I'm going to do new dashboard. Uh, I'm going to increase this size a little bit so we got more room to work with. I'm going to do a horizontal container and add the first one and the second one. And add another horizontal for the last two. All right, we got these. All right, next thing I want to do is remember on this one, I want to add that enlarge. So I'm just going to add another uh, dashboard here, and I'm going to put that uh, that visualization, which is just the the states. All right, so we got that, and go ahead and name these viz and tooltip and viz enlarge. All right, so now we're going to add an action to this one. So let's go to Dashboard and Actions and add Filter Action here. And it's going to be the formatting one. And we're going to do it on Menu. And it's going to filter this one. All right, so it's going to go ahead and uh, filter this whenever we um, select the menu. Let's go ahead and put some text here. So Enlarge Viz. Hit OK. Hit OK. So now when we hover, you can see the state. And then, for example, we want to see this enlarge. We can click, do enlarge viz. It jumps us to the other dashboard where it has that viz enlarge for us. All right, so please uh, subscribe and go ahead and download the uh, viz and tooltip reference guide right below. And uh, that's going to be a reference guide with all of the examples um, and, and, and blogs that I read and looked at that I thought were pretty cool. Uh, so if you want some more examples and materials, go ahead and download that as well. All right, well, I'll see you in the next video.